Here's a little sample in our ZPL guide. This can be found on the Zebra support site. The ZPL code, Zebra Program and Language, it's a nice little example of variable fields. So if you look here um, in the code, everything that's in here and in here is what generates this label. Take out the values and you see within this code, this is basically a template that will sit on the printer. So when you send a print, when you send just data to the printer, the data will fill in the variable fields. And what I mean by that is, here is the name of the file that's going to be saved, this sample.grf, which on the printer it's going to save as a sample.zpl. These top fields are the outlines of these boxes, and they're defining where they are and how big they are. And then you can see from here, these are the field data, right? So ship two, ship two, your part number, part number, and all that. So that's the field data there. And then you have your variable fields, FN1, FN2, FN3. So once this is sent to the printer, so if I copy this, and I'm connected to a printer here, and I paste it up here in the field. Um, we see that it, this will go down to the printer and get saved. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it save on the E drive. So let's go here. I'm gonna say send to printer. Okay, so that'll send to the printer. So now my template is saved on the printer itself. So if I go here, and I could do a command to see what's on drive E. If I say send to printer, I should see a true type font come up and then also my file. So there we have it, the sample. So now my template exists there. So my application that runs on my An Zebra Android device, on my PC, wherever, that application would just send data to the printer. So you're not sending all the complete information, you're just sending a small portion that's gonna say, call this template and put in this information. And the template can be however you do. It doesn't have to be four by six, it can be one by two, it can be whatever you want, and it can have some customizable things in it if you want. But so right now you see here, FN1 is my field one, this is ship two, right? ship to Acme Printing. I want Acme Printing. So we're going to take this, we're going to copy it, and we're going to put it in our, um, this is the Zebra Setup Utility, and just we're going to send this ZPL data over to our printer. And what prints is exactly what the demo shows, right? Max Fabrication Acme Printing. So Realistically, in an application, let's say I just want to change some of the data. My application, the data changes. I'll just do an example of that, making sure I am accessing it on E. And then I'm just going to change the ship to and then just some of the descriptions. So then if I go and if I send that to the printer, I see here the variable data that's sent has changed. So you see it changes on the printer. But you know, the static template still remains the same. So this allows, again, just a more efficient way to send the data using that template that exists on the printer. And again, great example from our ZPL guide around page 42 of um, how this is all done. And sending it and it stores. Great, thank you.